that's fine. I don't, I've been called worse. That's what, <laughs> that's what I always say. Okay, go back to my Zoom. Perfect. It's official. Welcome. I am Natalie Diaz of the famous uh, Twiniversity family. And I'm very excited because we have another great family today. I've been watching way too much uh, Drag Race, Chad. I just want you to know, and that's what they call everybody is their family. So that's where I'm going. Um, so guys, this is Chad. Chad, say hi to everybody. Hey everybody, it's Chad. Chad Ekstrom from the amazing family of Tinga Care, which is okay because we talk about our customers and our company and everybody has a big family. So it makes sense. We're kind of in that industry. It does. And you know, I think that's what kind of first attracted us to you guys. Whenever families are looking for new families to play with, you not only do you guys have a great product, but you're really on the, the forefront of cloth diapering education. So I, I'm always super duper fascinated by that. So yeah, this, you know, it's something that comes up a lot. And I think that our, I know Julie met you before I did. And then we met officially in Los Angeles at the baby show. And that was it, man. The rest, as they say, is history. That's, That's right. That's now, I need to know, as far as cloth diapering goes, give us a little bit of a behind the music of Kanga Care. Sure. All right. So um, my wife and I are the you know, uh, CEO and runners, founders of our company. So we started this 13 years ago. For my now 13-year-old, amazingly sassy daughter, Autumn. Uh, so basically, <clears throat> we had our first baby, young couple, uh, did the normal disposables, didn't have any exposure to cloth diaper, diapering, excuse me. And then with Autumn, she was born, and then uh, pretty instantaneously, we discovered we had some issues on her bottom side. So hmm. blistery problems, you know, no one wants to deal with that as a new parent to a second child. Uh, that type of an issue and then to not be able to figure out what was going on with it yeah so to, uh, a long story short with a lot of troubleshooting um and going through some trying to figure out what was going on um we figured out that it was the diapers that we were using which were disposable so we started using every single type of disposable out oh. there to try to remedy it okay nothing was helping so we had a lot of naked time with autumn laying on the ground yeah. hoping she was doing a lot of big duties or business because she was you know we're just trying to like have her body um, heel, Be which is free. a complete big pain in our bottom, but that's all right. We love yeah. her. And then, um, so, um, it finally came down to like, uh, the pediatricians being like, Hey, you should maybe try cloth diapering. This is, looks to be a severe case of diaper rash. So we got into cloth diapering that way. Okay. And then there and out, uh, diaper rash cleared right up and we start, so we started using cloth diapers. And then Julie, um, being Julie, uh, with a design background, and she knew how to sew because her mom taught her how to sew, started going, hey, I don't like what's out there. I'm going to start yeah. making my own and start tweaking and doing some things. And lo and behold, um, everybody loved what she was doing. It was really kind of fashion forward with a lot of prints and stuff at the time. Yeah. Um, I was working my nine to five. She was working. And uh, we actually, she quit working so she could stay at home with the two babies and started yeah. doing a little bit daycare just trying to make ends meet as a young couple um and then fast forward into you know we built the business from the home all the way up to where we're at now we've got our global headquarters in colorado here you can see behind me we're in our showroom area and um it's been a fun ride and we've been able to develop a lot of awesome products uh cloth diapers obviously and some other accessory yeah. products and uh, be a part of the community so yeah that's that's kind of how we jumped into it and i have to be honest at first when my wife was like hey so we have to cloth diaper autumn I looked at her and I was like, <laughs> that's peep. That's a lot. That's a very, you know, common first reaction to cloth diapering. Yeah. And I tell people that all the time because I, you know, you know me, I'm very frank and very, I mean, I make yeah. trying to make it fun and exciting and funny as possible because parenting in general mm -hmm. is just a huge, crazy journey. Um, so you got to get some, you know, comedy into it. And I've grown a lot as a parent. I have five kids now. Um, so Autumn was our second. We've added three more to our bunch. And so, um, yeah, you find humor to be the best medicine to keep you sane, really. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So it's, um, it's, I tell people all the time, like I, you know, we, to be, I wasn't into it. I was just like, what? No. And Joy's like, don't worry. You know, luckily she's a really patient person and she's like, we'll get this. And so I, also tried to avoid changing diapers as much as humanly possible. Uh, <laughs> That's nice. just like not about it. 
right. Oh, oh, this poor woman. Well, that is our uh, my second favorite, Julie, of course, after our yeah. own. So it's good. So, um, you know, I think that it, it's true that your patterns are what drew us to you guys. Because there, you know, Chad, when you go to these baby shows, there's a million different companies and everybody's selling the same stuff. But there's just something so different about your diapers than of a lot. And we, we've seen a lot of cloth diapers before, but there's just, I don't know if it's that you could tell, I know this sounds super corny, but you could tell the soul in your product and how practical it is that it's, it wasn't created by like this mindless, you know, company that's like, we need to have a cloth diaper in our arsenal. You could really, really tell that and even for the, our families that use this, how much thought went into them. And so we, I want to really just go through some basic stuff. And it's, we're already getting questions, by the way. So get ready because they're coming in fast and furious. So awesome. the first question that I have is, if you are a newer parent, okay, let's just talk to the expecting parents. Last night in Twiniversity class, I brought up the fact that you could do both. You do not have to exclusively cloth and you do not have to exclusively conventional diaper because I do think a lot of people are intimidated. And while I'm not saying you shouldn't be cloth diapering the full time, when you look at how much money you're going to spend on conventional diapers, it's just something to think about. So that's my, my like ease into just like think about this. And the fact that you guys are so unbelievably generous and people get to go home and see them, which is another misconception that I think people have. I think people think that cloth diapers are super plasticky and almost like, like um, a training pant from like 1950. You know, it's like these, cut, these plastic bloomers that are going to go over your kids, but it is nothing like that. You're, and I, and I'm, there are some, I will say, there are definitely some that, you know, meet that description, but yours are really like decadent. Yeah. They seem, ah, oh, they're so cool. So I'm holding up a little Joey. And so this would be your newborn introduction, right? Yep. So the little Joey is a newborn diaper. It fits from four to 12 pounds. So for all your twin parents, it's like the go-to starting diaper okay. um, with little babies. Um, the little yes. Joey is, yeah, it's amazingly lush. I mean, so the inside fabric is a micro chamois. So it's a hyperallergenic fabric, um, stay dry material so that it's nice and soft against the baby's butt. You've got the inner gussets, which is our patented feature on the inside of the diaper right there that you're touching. That keeps all the poo in the place of the diaper. Okay. I tell parents, I'm like, okay, so if you go to your job on the daily and you don't do your job, you get fired, right? You have to do your job. So like, why do, why do you settle for diapers that don't contain the messes or That's leak true. all the time? Why are your diaper, you know? So like find the solution that works for you. So when Julie designed our diapers, she really honed in on like, what are the pieces that are missing between materials, literally the materials and um, the function of the diaper. Um, okay. That's inner gusset became like a key, key piece of the diaper. Well, so that was one of the questions that has already come up when we're talking about leaking. So a lot of cloth diapers do not have the safety edging, I almost want to say. So instead of it just being, you know, one main area, it's almost three channels of absorbency, right? So you have the center. And then even if it did go over the edge, we still have plenty of padding on the sides to absorb whatever mess there is. Yeah. So those are called gussets. Okay. And so the, the middle channeling is going to be your inner gussets. And then you okay. get a little leg gusset here with that, um, you know, elastic that's in the leg there. So you're right. You know, 99% um, of the time, you're going to keep it right in that channel right there. Yeah. And like you're saying, if it does sneak out, you know, um, so I wish you were with me this past weekend. I was down in Dallas getting to spread the good love of Kangoo Care to all the folks that came out to one of the expos there. And okay. I had a mom who's actually a twin mom that we met at the expo a couple of years ago. Ago, we already love her yeah and help come out and whenever anybody asks me i'm like listen like ask her she'll give you the honest honest truth about what she's experienced and what's yeah. going on with the diapers and she said the same thing like she's like most of it is always in there a few times you'll get here but it was never coming out and that was yeah. like a huge lifesaver um you've heard me talk about like when the baby has a ginormous boom and everybody gets a little nervous because everybody's used to blowouts. Yeah. Yeah. You know, out the front, out the back, down the legs, everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, 
when my wife Julie designed it, she made those inner gussets to avoid that because we were cloth diapering at that point, but we yeah. were still experiencing some leaking and some issues that were like, well, what, you know, what's going on here? Like there should be a better, a better solution to this so that we're still not having these issues. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. we're, now I have another question immediately because it's so exciting. One of our moms just asked us, what size does this start at? And you, you got, you really do have to talk about this. This yeah. is like, it seems a little high, it's low tech, but it seems complicated at first. But then when you realize you're not changing this every two seconds. So guys, I don't know if you could see it, but there's different rows of snaps and yep. that's how you're going to change the sizing of the diapers, which is freaking genius. Absolutely. So the, the newborn little Joey all-in-one diaper is, and there's a ton of terms we can kind of get into those a little bit later, um, is a diaper that starts at four pounds. Okay. And goes 12 pounds. So yeah, like on its smallest setting, let's see if you can see there, turn yeah. a little bit, um, that's going to be the smallest setting. And then okay. we're kind of showing too, this little guy right here buttons down for the umbilical cord. And once the umbilical cord comes <gasps> off, you pop Oh that my goodness, gracious. You guys are <laughs> geniuses. So as my baby, so right out of the hospital, this is going to start at four pounds? Yeah. Okay. So four pounds. So we're looking at a four pound diaper, which technically would be a preemie diaper. For sure. Okay, so we're gonna go from four, and then you're telling me that this is gonna fit for, so the little Joey's fit from four to 12 pounds. Exactly. And it all is very dependent on these snaps. So yep. clearly as they're super small, it's gonna be the closest snap to the top. And then as the baby grows, we're gonna move the snap area and that's how we do it. Yeah, that's really, really smart. So now if I wanna, if I wanna try this, right? How many diapers do people typically start out with? When, like, what's, what's something if you're like, okay, I don't wanna make a crazy investment. I wanna kind of just get my feet wet. What do you recommend that people buy and how do you recommend they get started? So with um, the newborn diapers, um, any baby, no matter what you put on their bottom, cause something's gonna happen on there, right? Yeah, you're gonna yeah. change baby 10 to 12 times a day. So yes. that starts yes. to help up your math for how many diapers do I need, right? So with cloth diapering, you know, we recommend you're washing every two to three days. Um, so if you've got a single child, that's going to be 10 to 12 a day. If you've got twins, like you guys see most yeah. often, than not, you're talking about now 24, 20 to 24 diapers a day yeah. um, for their, their little, you know, kiddos. So that's why when you talk about cost and you talk about the feasibility now of, you know, cloth diapering and what it looks like and how they function, what they, you know, the difference is. It really starts to add up, especially twin parents. I mean, you're, everything's double for twin parents already. So yeah. um, cost is huge. So when we say, how many do you need? I would say at minimum, you're going to want, uh, if you're talk, talking about twins, you're talking about 48 because it's about okay. two days of diapers. If you have only okay. 24, now you're kind of running off to your washing machine more frequently. Okay. When I say 48 for twins and the little Joey's, um, that's 48 of these guys. Now, the thing we did with the little small guys is they come in a two pack. So that okay. you get two of these. So that's kind of a nice thing with the little Joey's is you get two of these little ones. Yes. So um, so for tw you know for those you'd only need really twenty four because that's going to equal forty eight for your twin uh, parents. Now, do you recommend that people take these in their hospital bag to start in the hospital or definitely? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you know it's interesting. So like I said, we've got five little kiddos and we packed our cloth from day one. Um, really. It was what cool did they say to you in the hospital? Were they like, mm, no? Exactly. It was it was really always shocking because obviously these you know labor and delivery nurses and everybody sees a lot of babies and a lot of babies going into diapers and everything that kind of comes after that. And some of them would be like, oh my gosh, that's so cool, you guys cloth diaper. Other people would be like, what is this? And we're like, what's yeah. a cloth diaper? And they're like, really? Because they think of kind of what I always say is like grandma's cloth diaper. Yes. Like you're earlier the plastic pants and like the prefold, which look like, you know, a, a burp rag basically. Yes. Um, and that's what the notion is that most people have in their mind. It's really, it's, it's really, it's, it's mind bending. Like it really is. I have to say when we, when it comes up and it does come up often, and I definitely think that there's a trend right now across our country being, I don't know if it's eco-conscious or if it's cost conscious, because it may seem like a big investment in the beginning, but at the end of the day, it totally isn't even remotely as big of an investment as conventional diapers. But now I want to say it does seem a little overwhelming. If like, if you're like, okay, I got to buy 24 these packs 
let's talk to the mom who never cloth diapered, who's the me, okay? Who's the Natalie Diaz that's out there that says, I don't even know where to begin. I don't know how to do that. If I wanted to start cloth diapering, would I start in the morning or would I start in the evening? Like if I just want to dabble, where would you, like what's the recommended dabbling? Like what's your introduction to cloth diapering? So if you're like dabbling just to kind of check it out and give it a shot, you know what I'm saying? I would say like during the daytime because you're more active. So all babies, you know, they go through this cycle. It's eat, sleep, poop, repeat, 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 repeat the rest of their lives, right? Yes. In a little bit different, you know, fashion. But so um, during the daytime, you're going to probably be much more active with babies um, during that time. So that would be a good time if you ask me to kind of test it out. Um, okay. Interestingly We've got parents that do disposables, but then they use cloth at night because they're sick of babies waking up wet and stuff like that. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that's a great reason to turn to cloth, but it also, you know, you're also kind of getting into, why don't you just do it full time, you know, instead yeah. of just doing it at nighttime. Um, that's when God graces you with the ability to have your children sleep through the whole night and you freak out at first, but then you rush in and you're like, oh good, they're still asleep. Everything's good. Yeah. Now I'm back to sleep. But um, yeah, so I would say if you're just dabbling, trying to figure it out, like, can I do this? Is this a feasible thing for me? I would say during the daytime, because you're already actively with your child doing the eat, sleep, poop routine. Um, okay. And it'd be an easier time to kind of take the time to do it. Okay. Now let's, parents let's talk about like, kind of like, uh, I was just gonna say, I don't know any parent that wants to test anything out in the middle of the night when they have a brand new baby and they're already a little bit sleep deprived. <laughs> do you know what's funny? If honestly, like if this, if I had a baby at this stage in my game, I would use them overnight because I trust you. And it would yeah. actually be because of the trust of you and Julie that would make me say that's where I'm going to start first. Yeah. Which I think is kind of crazy because there's not a lot of companies that, not saying that we don't trust our, the companies that we work with, but you're like, you're it. Just like I'm Twiniversity, you guys are Kanga Care, which is really nice to be able to have a face to, you know, a company. And if and when you sell to your giant multi-million dollar corporation, so you could buy each of your children their own giraffe and retire on a yacht in St. Martin, I'll still love you. As long as I, the new I'll chat invite you, takes care I'll of invite you on the yacht ride, at least. <laughs> <laughs> Only if we have a cage for the drafts on the yacht. Yes. Well, that doesn't make sense to leave them home. It's, it no. seems a little cruel to me. So yeah, you have, you just have to watch the bridges whenever you're, you're navigating around, you have to be careful. Cause then that turns into that scene from the hangover. And uh -huh. that's a whole, that's a whole thing. I can't yeah. ever not watch that movie, by the way, if that's a movie that's on TV, I pray that the kids aren't in the room and I have to watch it. That and Mrs. Doubtfire. They're like two movies that I cannot turn off. I don't know why. Classic. So yeah, yeah, I can see that. Those are my faves. Now let's talk about the smelly, smelly uh, giraffe in the room. How much odor is going to be, is coming out of these when it's poopied, right? And then also, if I, like, you guys do make a really great wet bag, which is very nice. This is very 4th of July themed. It's 4th of July winter themed is the way that I felt when I got it. When I opened the box, I was like, it's 4th of July in the winter. But the way that this fabric feels, I want a raincoat of this. Yeah. Do you Super guys have that? Do you ever make like extra? I totally want, not necessarily of the 4th of July one, but the, this fabric feels so great. And what I did too was I filled this up to see how much water I could put in here. It didn't okay. leak. Yeah. Because my thing so was, is okay, let's say I have a grossy gross diaper, right? That's my BFF calling me. Let me decline her. Um, if I have a super gross or gross diaper and I throw it in here, I was worried that this was going to be like super funky town USA. So yeah. what's the process of the smelliness of the diapers? And then tell me about the process of cleaning them. Cleaning them. Yeah. So that's what everybody always asks. What about, they don't want to say it. So I always, you know, go to that subject myself. I'm like, what the question you, you want, but you won't say it is what about the poop? Yes. Because um, that's, I think, the other big, like, hurdle when it comes to, like, the cloth diapering piece of it. Like, well, I can cloth diaper, but, like, what about dealing with the poop? Yeah. So, I think I say to a parent is, um, you realize your child is going to poop, right? And if you have, you know, going back to, like, if you do disposables, the, the probability of you having blowouts is going to be much higher. And it's going to be when you're in a restaurant, just sitting down for your food. And now you're like, what do I do? Do I, like, do I just ditch and leave the restaurant? Front? Do I get the food to go? Because it's not just going to be baby full of poo. You're going to have poo on you now too. Yes. So it's like you're dealing with poo no matter what. So if you want to know a cloth diaper, that's fine. You're dealing with poo in a whole new method. 
so um so when it comes to the poo and the, so just to kind of back up for a second with the wet bags yes the wet bags are made out of the same material as a diaper on the outside so that's where you get your waterproofing from okay we do steam sealing so i don't know if you can see this on the camera depending on the lighting and stuff yeah but the ceiling is that tape that goes over the seam there and it's the same sort of technology yeah. they do use with tents and rain jackets so huh. that it the moisture and the smell on the inside so just to um, clarify one thing for the parents that are familiar with cloth diapering you do not have to fill this up you do not fill this up with water and then stick your diapers in it she was just doing a test on her like wet bag check it out which is pretty cool I mean if you wanted to like portage some water with this thing you might be able to you know get it going with some water but um you do not need to fill it up with water um, these are amazing too for like 110,000 different uses. I mean, we've got How people- How much are these? So these are retail for $18.95. Totally. Um, one, um, you'll quickly see when you start to like shop Kinga Care is we have tons of colors, tons of prints. Um, so a lot of varieties. So you can really, and this is where like to me, you get to pimp out you, you know what I mean? Yes. I've, that black one we did for Black Friday that's got white pinstripes on it. So it looks oh. very kind of like, you know, I like, like a- for a guy in a nice pinstripe uh, tux or suit. I love and so, it. Choose when I travel in my dirty clothes. Outside yes. of, you know, wet bag for diapers. Yeah, I'm not, I have to say a lot of stuff at Twiniversity, like we get some pretty good samples and stuff. This I'm keeping for bathing suits. Yeah. And also I'm going to give this to my son for um, dirty clothes when he goes camping. Yep. So yeah, this is this on its own, it's cloth diaper or not. I'm, I'm in love with this. And I love the way that it's sealed with the zipper. So now with the, the smelliness, okay, let's go back to that because I could just talk about this bag. Honestly, Chad, I really loved it. I'd never seen this before until it arrived at my apartment. So I was very, very excited about that. Okay, so the wet bag. We got yep. poop, poop goes in our little Joey or our romper ruse, right? Which is the next size, we'll talk about that in a minute. But I yep. got poop, what do I do? Do I shake it out over the garbage? Do I put it in the toilet? What do I do with the little um, Hershey's kisses that remain in here? So the, what, so the nice thing is, well, not, not really, but like, so we, and again, talking about poop all the time. Uh, so your child, I always tell people, your child's going to have what I call poop soup for like, what, six, seven, eight months of their life. Yeah. And then you get to transform, like transition to like maybe poop peanut butter. And then it gets into the ploppable poops. And you celebrate ploppable poops because like you're saying, this beautiful little Hershey kiss isn't really a beautiful little Hershey kiss that you can go, boop. you yeah. know, it's gonna be like just the soupy stuff, right? Yes. The, the nice thing about cloth diapering and the development of cloth diapering and the modernization of cloth diapering, just like our products have helped to do, is there's some um, pre-treatment kind of things you can do. So there's two schools that I always say that you can do. One school is just take poopy diaper and all and put it into your wet bag until you do your laundry. So you're okay. not doing anything but putting it into the wet bag. And from a containment of smell, like you're asking, you're doing your laundry every two to three days. So if you're staying on that kind of path, you're fine. If you let it stay okay. for four days or five days, of course, it's going to be kicking when you open it, though. It's going to yeah. contain all, but when you open it is where it's going to get a little kick of loveliness to your face. Okay. Yeah. So um, that's one kind of method. The other method is there are um, diaper sprayers and diaper tools out there that yes. can be used to pre-rinse and pre-treat. That, so that just attaches to your toilet tank, right? So like you unscrew your toilet, you put this piece on, and then it's it's like an extender of the water that goes into your tank. And it's like the thing that you would like use to wash your hair in your sink. Yeah, so the best I way to describe it- I my hair in my sink. I don't even know why I said that. Just sank. I do. No. <laughs> the best way I can describe it is like the, it's, uh, the, um, the sprayer on your sink in your kitchen. If you've yes. got like a little spray it's that and it plugs okay. into the back of and so then you can pre-rinse it into the toilet there's some thing uh there's a couple different varieties we do uh sell a couple on our website we don't produce them but they're great products that we do on our site spray mate and a spray pal okay. and you rinse them basically so you pre-rinse all the poo off first the majority of it and then you take your diaper and stick okay. it in the wet so you do your laundry wet bag means soiled not you know full of wet leaky water or anything like that just okay. soiled Okay. Yeah. So, and then, but I just literally, everything goes in bloop. Now when I wash them too, do I make an effort to kind of make them more open or are they just going to do itself in, 
You know what I'm trying to say? Like if I drop this yep. into the washing machine, if I drop the cloth diaper, do I have to make an effort to like snap it open or something to that effect so that it really washes? Cause I could technically do that, right? I could snap it open so that it really gets super duper clean. Do you, you do that? Do, yes, absolutely. And that's kind of a little trick with Joey's. If you do snap them like this, because the core is thick for the absorbency piece, if you snap them like this, they yeah. do dry faster. Mm -hmm. um, because the core again doesn't come out an all-in-one just means it's all here there's no more components this is it okay so, um a little trick of the trade here would be if you do snap it like that that helps to get all the poo out and then also to dry them quicker okay. so again a lot of people that are into cloth diapering are now thinking now i have to take this poopy diaper and snap yeah. it inside what i would recommend then is run it through the first rinse load which yes. gets thing out and then if you've got some like offenders that are still looking a little dirty you could do this yeah. so it's already pretty much already pre-rinsed and then okay. snap. i okay. have the what detergent do i use good question so simple 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 we recommend we have a list of recommended detergents i'll talk about in a second but from okay. a detergent standpoint we recommend tide free and clear so i love that special, so no bleaches no perfumes no softeners just tide yeah. free and clear uh, I've, Dreft is now, Dreft's very popular, I know, with soaps and, uh, for babies as well. Dreft has come yeah. out with new uh, formulas without perfumes and softeners. So the biggest thing is uh, no perfumes or softeners, so we don't want that to build up on the fabrics. Okay. Uh, which would make them not do their job and soak up the pee. And the poop. Uh, okay. Yeah. If you like more organic things, we have a list of organic approved too. Um, okay. Again, to make sure that the soaps have the elements that make the diapers get clean. Yeah. I, so, um, I think it's awesome. Soaps. I always tell people like, you don't have to go crazy, whatever you're using, you know, you could use, but I would be a little bit more cautious just because of where these are. But at the same time too, like the all the, like the tide free and clear and there's all two, and then there's dapple. They're things that I've used for my regular laundry. I just made, I don't know why I made a change a few years ago when it's great. Now I have some good news for the people that are watching us right now. It's that special magical time during our Twiniversity live feeds where they basically say something and you could see what they're gonna say. Hey, Gina, he got the keys. My neighbor just joined us and she sent my husband his keys. I could, my husband is so over the moon, but was disappointed that she didn't include a note. She was a little sad. The keys were just in an envelope that she had to mail to us because we left them. <laughs> <laughs> now he was like, what? No note. Okay. So the question is what basically it is, it's prize time. So do you want to tell them what they have an opportunity to win and I will Vanna White it? Sure. Okay. So prize means uh, opportunity to win uh, two, two packs of little <sighs> Joe. So that's what we've been spending our time talking about is little Joey's. You got, yeah, you got the little Joey's there. So uh, show it sideways and you can kind of see now that there's two in there, little sandwich little guys in there. So yeah, we're gonna do a little giveaway, two, two packs, the little Joey's um, for all those uh, parents to be or parents that are already in the mix of it uh, to, to do some testing out and trying out of the King of Care and you're showing all the amazing options and colors. I uh, love them. This is my favorite though. I have to say, if I have to have like a Natalie Diaz uh, win, it's these yep. tiny little foxes. That's yep. my favorite one. Do That's you have fun. a favorite one? Oh yeah. Um, so, you know, it changes. It, you know, we will, I'll have a favorite and then something new comes along and I'm like, oh, now that one's my favorite. So I have to like figure out how do I get to enjoy these prints because I'm a man and my kids are all out of diapers now. And so that's where I get the wet bags to enjoy the prints I really like. But um, I would say um, I'm a big fan of the Toki Doki ones. Yes. Done some with. You held up the Toki Space, that black one. Hold uh, on, and then we have this one too. But that's yep. the, yes. Yep, yep. Yeah. So there's a few the different ones. And, and just to like give your uh, people a little sneak, um, June 6th, we have a release coming out, which is very soon, like what, tomorrow or the next day? Next day. The next day, yes. It's Tetris Day, and we did a licensing with Tetris. So here's the Tetris print. I love that. Okay, now Chad, in order for them to win, we make them say something. And so we do this specifically so that people could only enter the prizes that they actually want to win. Because sometimes people join the live feed for the education, maybe like, oh, let somebody else win that. So for the people that want to win the little Joey's, what should they have to say? I know I'm putting you on the spot. 
But like, like, how about like Twinkie Turd? Twinkie Turd is totally fine. We love that idea. So yeah, just talking. say Twinkie okay. Turd. I like it. Listen, that's the story of my life, the immense <laughs> amount of Twinkie Turds that I have dealt with. So yeah, so if you want to win two two-packs of the Little Joey's, and could you tell me, Chad, what's the retail on, on a two-pack of the Little Joey's? Yep. So the, they retail for twenty nine ninety five. You can't beat that, man. I'm telling you, for $30, right? $30, yep. I have two diapers that are going to last me to size 12. So yep. it's pound, 12 pounds, not size 12. Please, I don't want to wear cloth diapers when I'm size 12. When That's that. <laughs> that's that. But they are going to last you from, si from four pounds to 12 pounds, yep. two twin packs. So I feel like we should just call them twin packs, right? So they're little twin packs of what they are. They're unbelievable. And all you just have to say is 20 turds. And there you go. Any variation of that will take Julie, our Julie will pick a winner and then we'll announce it, which is pretty cool. Now we got a lot of questions. Julie's been texting me like psychotically because I'm really shocked at how many questions we have, which is really, really great. Okay. So would you like our next question? Sure. Okay. Sure. So the next question that I have is, is there a cloth swim diaper? Good question. Yes. Yes. So when it comes to swim, there's a few different things you can do. So we have the little learners training pants and swim diaper, which is this. Um, they come in five sizes. Like I tell everybody, when it comes to swimming, the only thing you're trying to do is keep the poop out of the pool, right? Yes. So the absorbency isn't, uh, you know, obviously that necessary because your child is going to be soaking wet in the pool, but you're keeping right. the poop out. So the little learners are amazing for swim. They start at 15 pounds and they go all the way up to, gosh, I think like 35 or more. Um, they've come okay. in sizes, extra small. I have a big size too here. This is the one. Yeah. I have this one too. Is that, uh, that looks like around a larger and extra large. So I've this is, yeah, this is the extra large. Yeah. That's so big. These are multifaceted, so you can use them for potty training, but then you can also use them for swim. And we did go with the extra large sizes for late trainers and that kind yeah. of thing. And then the other thing you can do is, so if you say, say you're like, well, I'm going to go swimming, but 15 pounds is the first step. Those start fitting. You can yeah. still just keep them in the diaper. If so, if you're going swimming with your twins yeah. and they're really small, teeny little twin babies, yeah. you can just put one of these on them. Isn't it going to get too heavy though? No. I mean, you're going to have it snapped around him and it's not yeah. like it's going to. <laughs> true, 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 true. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah. I'm like, I'm, I just thought about that. I'm like, wait a second. Wait a second. That doesn't sound okay. But this is the small size and this is the extra large just so you could see. So since summertime is right around the corner, I know we yep. spend a lot of money on swim diapers. Now yep. don't even bother. Like we're okay. And plus yep. the swim diapers every time. I remember taking the swim diapers off the 20s. I would rip the sides because that's just the easier way to take them off. And then all the little polymer stuff would fly out onto the floor and be super, super disgusting. I skeeve that. And I don't know if you have ever had a diaper blowout where the polymer, so the little fine particles that are in a conventional diaper literally shoot out from a split that's in the back or for a cloth diaper when I ripped it accidentally, because that's what absorbs everything is these, these little tiny micro crystals yeah. that drink all the fluid and then blow up. And then once they're blown up, they blow up big. And then if your kid sits down quickly and so not even swimming, but let's say they were peeing all day and then they sit down, it pops. There's that, not much anybody could do. And that's the stuff that those little balls are the, the little jelly balls. That's what a lot of the children are allergic to when it comes yes. to the this is that. The yeah, chemical. they are absorbent. I got to say the truth. They're crazily absorbent, but no matter what any corporation did, there is nothing that could prevent that kid from plopping down and a hundred percent of the time having total success with it staying in there. Because you got to say it's that full, the polymers are that big, the weight of your baby, the material that they're sitting on with this. I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm really not like I would have hands down as somebody, I really did want a cloth diaper, but unfortunately I do not have a washer dryer in my apartment. So that was cut, made me a little apprehensive. Sure. In hindsight though, knowing that I could have still done something like a swim diaper or a training pant would have been really nice. 
it would have been a great option. And I would say for you guys, if you're thinking about getting a training pant or doing a swim diaper, I would say a minimum of three per 20. So you always have one in rotation. That's like the minimum that I would consider. This cloth diaper especially, because let's say you did go swimming for the day and they did poop. And now I have to take this off. I don't want to tell them don't go in the pool again. Right. And I also don't kind of want to just shake the poop out and then say, here, let's put this skanky thing back on you. And then it sits against your little bum. So I would say at least three. And they do, by the way, they fold up into nothing. So where I thought that this was going to be huge to say, okay, let me put this in, you know, my beach bag. This is the extra large one and it's yeah. really small. So, yeah. you know, even it, totally empty and this is new. It's not even like beaten down yet. You know, because I know that they're going to be a better size when they get a little bit more worn in. But as a fluffy, fluffy new diaper, the extra large, like it's great. It's great. And you could also leave these at grandma's house or leave a pair at school. And even if you did conventional diaper, having a backup that's going to be kind of a one size fits all, especially when your kids get bigger, it's an option that you really should consider. It really is. And I think the other win of cloth diaper versus conventional is that while a lot of conventional diapers purposely draw the, the liquid away from your kid's skin, while this is absorbent, your kid will still feel that they're wet, which is nice and might actually make potty training a lot easier. Well, so and, and there, the there, piece of it, uh, the little kids who are cloth diapered potty train sooner typically because of the fact that you just pointed out that feeling of being wet and damp. And when yeah. you start to have cognitive realizations that, hey, I'm in control of the sprinkler system downstairs, uh -huh. and if I hold it and get to the toilet it, versus, hey, I peed my pants and I'm soaking wet, then, you know, they that's where they, you know, so yes, they feel wet, but yeah. it's that realization that I'm in control of that and now let's start moving that to the toilet I said to somebody the other day at one of the expos was like hey if I could pee my pants and not feel wet yeah I'd pee my pants all day amen I would pee my pants all day too does that make us bad people <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that makes us bad people. Okay, well, Car Carly Bigelow just won. So congratulations to you, Carly. We're very excited that you will be getting two two-packs of the Little Joeys. Um, are she going to get to choose her patterns, or are you choosing her patterns yeah. as your... Oh, come on. That's the best. Okay, yeah. good. You get to choose your patterns. We'll connect you guys with yeah. King Care, and you'll get that all set. All right, now, we got our newborn stuff. Yeah. Now, let's say we've made it through the newborn phase. And either we want to continue cloth diapering or we want to start, right? Maybe we are nearing the time of potty training like we just discussed and say, you know what? This isn't the worst idea. So you guys then graduate from the little Joey's and then you graduate to the romper roos, correct? Yeah, so the romper roos is, romper -roos is a one size diaper. And so this diaper actually starts fitting at six pounds. Oh, wow. Yeah. So just to give you a little comparison, I've got one here. Right okay. Now. Button it down. Okay. Um, newborn. Hold on. I have to get one out. I want to play Romperoos. Romperoos. Here it is. Got it. Okay. So here's my Romperoos. So yeah, look at this. So now look at all the different choice. Wow. This is cray cray. Look at that. So this to give I'm you a plain here. I'm going to take this one out. I think you could see the plain ones better. Look at yeah. that. Okay. The Rumperoo's newborn setting. And this is the little Joey just to kind of hold them side by side. Okay. Just to see. And look at all the buttons. I think on the solid fabric, you could see all the different changes. Holy smoke. Really? It's still going. This is right. like the energizer bunnies of uh, claw <laughs> diapers. It gets bigger. It gets bigger. It gets bigger. Yeah. Okay, we want to talk about this one in a second because I know that's a separate item. But here is, yeah. oh my God, this is crazy. So the one you're holding in your hand I think. is um, Ruzi, which our print Ruzi, which is just kind of has all of our different brand logos on it. And you'll see the rainbow color in the cross, the snaps. A lot yeah. of people that because they can tell you know dad grandma whomever hey we're on the green snap right now use that not all of them have those rainbow snaps like that but it's helpful when you're like introducing to someone and or if baby's going somewhere where like we're on the green snap so you can tell them when they put the diaper on we're on the green snap right now okay. um, in the 
in the front of this diaper, you get the rise settings, which adjust right up and down. So there's all these different buttons that go this way. So with this diaper, you'd set it to whatever you need it to be and leave it, even when you wash it. You don't have to open it up and you know keep doing it every single time. You leave it on whatever okay. snap. And, and so this style of diaper is a pocket diaper. Okay, what is so that? What a pocket is is on the inside you get to see our wonderful inner gussets again to keep all those messy messes inside the diaper where they belong, right? Okay. Pocket. Natalie has her hand in the pocket right there. So the pocket is where you actually put the absorbency. Aha. Yeah. And or, it can be used as a puppet when. <laughs> or you make it look like those. Remember those Hello. old puppets? Hello, Chad. This is a little creepy. <laughs> I don't know if my kids are going to want to wear this if I make it talk to them. I like to eat poop. That's right. what my mind would say. That would be a great video. Like, hi, my name is Rough Rose, and I catch your poop. <laughs> yep. I'm all for it. That's going to be our potty training video. Do you remember the Sesame Street uh, one with the, the weird little things that kind of look like this? And they yeah. like went like, or whatever. They made a weird. Yip, 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 yop, yop. Yip, yip, yes. Yip. I got yep. you, homeboy. Yes. We had a customer years ago because we used to do these video competitions and these customers would create the best videos and they made this whole video out of their rumperoos doing those like yip, 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 yip. they lived in ernie's window box yes they, I, I believe somebody feel free god bless a live video correct us if i'm wrong Please. i think that those little guys lived yep. in a window box of bert and ernie's apartment <laughs> I think so. Okay, so now so, my Rumperoos come with a liner. So for the Rumperoos package, I get one of the diapers and one of the inner schmingies, or two of these. How many is this? Two. This is like a lot. It's two. So, okay. So the big one of the big pros to the pocket diaper, and you just did it there, is you've got adjustability of absorbance. <gasps> I just realized what I did. <laughs> so when baby small baby doesn't put out as much volume volume and urine and whatnot you just use this one that's a okay. newborn one a little bit thinner in layers and yeah it's contoured so you don't get as much of the bulkiness between legs okay and then as they get older and they start to put out more volume you can add huh. in this one and then they couple together for overnight and heavy wetters and all that good fun twiddle bugs that's what Is that they what are called? That's what they are, twiddle bugs, and they lived outside Ernie's window. We just got a text message from uh, the Bat Cave. So the Bat Cave, also known as my Julie, twiddle bugs are a species of colorful insects who live in Ernie's window box. Thank you very much. This has been your uh, PBS portion of the <laughs> Kanga Care introduction <laughs> to <laughs> outside of Frank. That's it. it. That yeah. is hilarious. So mine is, so it's in there. So as they get bigger, I so want to use this to dust though, like very old school. That's my, I remember after the kids, like I would use these, I could put these, I'm not going to use these as birth cloths because I'm going to be using them for poopy and pee pee, but right. they, they feel so nice. So this is micro chamois. It's a polyester material. It absorbs very quickly. Um, it's, it feels very nice, but you definitely want to put this inside the diaper, not against baby's skin because it's okay. very fast with absorbing. It just okay. would be casey. Yeah. So that's why we continue to have on the inside of this one is the same material as the uh, little Joey, which is the micro chamois, super soft, okay. non-pill, hyperallergenic, stay dry material. And um, that's what's going to be against baby's bottom. And that's I'm doubling up. I'm double downing. You're, you're doubling it. I'm doing it. Now grab it on the top up here. Grab it. Okay. It there. And, and then, then you spread your hand. While That's already you, done. Yeah. That was so easy. Yeah. So you get it all in there. Okay. It's done. Hold on. And then when I, but when I'm washing, I have to separate these pieces. I can't wash it like this. So let me show you a little trick. I love it. Go so on here. And so I've got my diaper. It's all in there, ready to go. All right. So now again, we're back to, you're going to hold it like this. Cause if you hold it like this, it's going to be running onto your floor and all that fun. We don't want to do no, that. Thank you. So you've got it like okay. if you take the little pocket and you just start it out a little bit, it's going to agitate out in the um, washing machine. So I, mine came really far out, but I was not trying to demonstrate that much. I was just going to say as okay. long as you get it so there's nothing kind of, it's not going to stick on the lip of the diaper. Yes. Hold on. I think I did mine the wrong way. So the like snappy that. piece goes, the snappy piece goes at the, the end 
or the snappy piece goes at the open end? That's uh, subject to debate. <gasps> it's a personal preference. So that's where we get into like, we always put the snappies towards the top where the other snappies are. So if you've like, okay. I've got pulled over right now and then it's up here. Okay. And then on the, so the tags are where the tag would be where, where you can't expect them to see the yes. tag. When you Do you know what else you're not Correct. mentioning that I think is really cool? So in these, so the rumper ruse, it does have a little lip that goes over it. So you actually get protection all the way to the waistband. Yeah. Which so, I think is pretty crazy. Again, when Julie designed these, my Julie, not yours, right? Um, inner gussets were key. And then yes. a little bit on the front to keep it from, again, when you get those blowouts and they shoot out the back. And okay. X sometimes, right? Yeah. And then this little thing here, see this little excess back? That yes. helps play in the, the small back so okay. that when the baby has this like front boo and catches on there and then doesn't shoot out of the diaper. So okay. we, literally, we have had customers, and please don't do this. I appreciate you loving the fact that they do their job. Send us pictures and like, holy cow, look at what it contained. And I'm like, I don't want to see that. We're like, we're good. Thank words you. Are, w words are great. Okay. We visualize. <laughs> so yeah, but it's, it's, I mean, when you talk to parents that are cloth diapering parents, they'll preach the good word of like, blowouts are like few and far between. Usually, um, you know, we can talk to you about too, like get a good fit and you should really yeah. have zero blowouts because okay. everything's laying where it needs to be laying on the child. All right. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is I do want to talk about your organic diaper. So you yeah. do have an organic, are we allowed to talk about that? I saw, are you being called off camera to your <laughs> Hollywood people? All right. While you tell everybody about this, I have to plug my a laptop in it's a new laptop and i didn't it doesn't want to hold its charge hi apple store i see a visit coming to apple today so tell us about your organic ones and that is the rumparoos obv yeah what does the obv stand for organic bamboo velour Ooh. okay but tell them, the, my plug the, is right here yep right. so um the the rumparoos obv is going to be basically almost the exact same as this guy that we just got done talking about with the exception of different materials on the inside. So the organic bamboo velour is this gray material right here. And then this one comes coupled or paired with um, a bamboo organic cotton um, insert. And so the difference and the reasoning behind why would I want this diaper versus the rumper is that we just talked about is absorbency. So the bamboo is gonna be your most absorbent material that you're gonna find when it comes to a cloth diaper. Um, the bamboo is, so this one is not yet pre-shrunk. Uh, you don't have to shrink the diaper, but the insert itself does have to be pre-shrunk. And that's what it's gonna make the, fi the fibers condense down and become more absorbent. So, um, so why would I use this? When would I use this? Um, you really uh, are gonna use it for Heavy wet kids, like my little dude over here, here in the office today, he was a beast when he was born, he was 10 pounds and he's been a beast ever since. Um, heavy wetting little kiddos, a uh, longer time in a diaper, like a car ride or okay. um, nights or yeah, overnights is also really a big when it comes to this one. Because again, once you get to that beautiful point where baby sleeps for the whole night and you get a good solid, like for my kids, sometimes 12 hours and you're like, holy okay. cow. Awesome. They're in a diaper for a long time. This is where you're going to turn to this one because it's going to be a more absorbent diaper. Huh. Okay. But it still gives you all the awesome features of the one size starting at six pounds and the inner gussets on the inside to keep all the poop and the good fun inside of the diaper. So yeah, it's, it's like the Rumparoos, but it's going to be our more absorbent uh, overnight diaper, basically. Now, how do you know when it's the right size? So Good. like, how do I know like it's not too tight and it's not too loose? How do I tell that it's on the right setting for my 20? Yeah, so when it comes to the size settings, um, one of the great things you get about Kinga Care is us. So you can ask us, but just to talk about sizing in general, because yeah. I think that's the other piece that a lot of parents look at this. And again, when you're talking about like the multifaceted places where you can just get overwhelmed and like, oh my yeah. gosh, so what, you know? Um, yeah, it's a lot. One of the benefits is, is this is a one size, so you don't have to go buy a small, medium, large. You get to just adjust it if you find that your size isn't working for you. But so when it comes to sizing, you want the back of the diaper to be kind of like 
in you know when they're smaller uh right above butt but not showing plumber crack in the okay. kind of crack. and then see how stretchy this is when you start to look at how stretchy that goes yes i'll pop it out so you can really see how much it stretches there yeah, yeah that's a lot of stretch it really stretches, yeah and the reason it stretches that much is once you've got baby on it it's i'm like demoing in the air here but like baby's yeah. laying here you want to get a good pull through and you'll have the baby's weight here to, to kind of pull it up not like just super hard but pull it up a little bit and pull it through the legs okay you always tell folks you want it to fit in that underwear line so if you think of like whitey tighties and how they fit you yeah. want the play in that underwear line and then it's going to come up over the baby you know midsection and then okay button up. All right. And then you, but you're going to play with it. And I think that if you started with the little Joey's, I think it's going to make more sense because by the time you graduated to this, you'll kind of know the, the lay of the, uh, the land, but I don't think that you could make, like, I'm not saying that you can't make them too tight, but there's a lot of given here. So yeah. you know, I, there I are sometimes when we run into, um, so, uh, we, we do a ton of support in, and when it comes, like I was saying, when you get us, you get us. Mm -hmm. So like contact us. So when you have that question, we have a Facebook group. It's a, was small but mighty. So there's not thousands and thousands of people, but it's a very, very active group. It's King of Care Rump Roost Chat. I, I recommend everybody join it if you're like thinking about getting into cloth diapering because it's super supportive. We've got our customer service and moderators that help support, but they have all yeah. the time we pulled up posts and it's the first time putting the diaper on and they're like, how does it look? And so that's where like as parents, they're like, good job or make this adjustment here and that kind of a okay. thing. So that once you get your fit figured out, everything else is like, you move on to like worrying about other things, like putting your kid through college. Oh, it's a whole other story. <laughs> so in addition to the diapers, you guys do make other products, right? So you make the wet bags yep. and then you also make changing pads. Yep. So you have an entire line and I could coordinate everything. If I'm a very matchy, matchy parent, I could have a coordinated diaper bag with a changing pad with my little Joey's. I could have everything. Do I get a, a bag in Tetris? Are you guys making the bag in Tetris pattern? Oh, oh yes. yeah. Good, 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 good. Brandy I don't know pad. why I'm so excited. I just am. I really we do have some blankets and swaddles, which are kind of behind me. We've done, also done Care Bears was another big collaboration we did. Mm. Um, I've got some Tetris tetris pieces right here with little tetris uh, little joeys um but yeah so when we do these prints uh they do come across our full line um okay. we um pale liners is a larger version than the wet bag it's not a zipper close it's just okay. gonna be a bag that's another good one you're talking about for when it comes to like camping or i think yeah. of kids going off to school and then coming home on the weekends from like college and going hey mom here's all my laundry that's kind of like a giant laundry bag almost, um, but it's for more of like a pail in the baby's nursery for the diapers. Okay. Does it have a handle? It does. It's a drawstring, so okay. no handle. All right. Now Just you're like, hmm, how am I using this? That's right? it. Yeah. That's, that's it. That's what I, I bring. I actually, every, almost every weekend, we bring um, my laundry to my aunt's house because she has a washer dryer. I'm like, hey, how are you feeling? Sorry, talk to me in two seconds after I put this load of wash in. So yeah, I'm currently using an Ikea bag, not the best mode of transportation for laundry, but it's currently working, but I we hate need, it. So we need to get you some, I don't have one right to my hands, here, but we need to get you like a pail liner because those things are yeah. amazing. That would be better than my ooh, Ikea bags, but I'm loving this. I love it. And I loved how much it folded that I think that honestly, even if you are not cloth diapering, I would still buy this and keep it in your trunk. And then if you had any blowouts, because even if you are using a conventional diaper, you're going to have clothes that have poop all over them. I could tell you stories that would make your toes curl. And I'm sure, sure Chad's got stories too. Every parent does. I can remember having to pull over and the only place was a Wendy's. And I had to get Wendy's napkins through the drive through and clean poop off of my son, the car seat. And it, when I picked him up, it spilled because he was teething with Wendy's napkins. Really one of the highlights of my parenting moment, I have to say. Thank so you. when we ask our customers like for the million and 10 things that they use these for, and I won't go through all of them, but a lot of parents have also said uh, barf bags while they've been going down like the freeway and their child That's gets sick. Idea. They just I have like that. So I took the bag and I just rolled it up and snapped the little handle. Wait, so where's like, that? No. See, my hand in the box like small. that. I didn't know this was a snap. Yeah. Oh, and it's super heavy, heavy duty. You can snap that on door handles. Like it will take it. It will hold it. I mean, it is. I want to play snap time. 
Yeah, I very didn't know dirty. That was a snap. I just thought it was a handle. I figured it was just for a hook. Yep. Oh, this is my new bag for the farmer's market. Here we go, guys. Winter 4th of July theme. That's what right. I like it. That's um, the best. You guys rock. You really, really do. I love, I really do love what you've done. It's very exciting. And I know that especially people with twins, sometimes people are very apprehensive about how to start this whole process. And the fact that it's literally you and Julie and the rest of your team, I just feel like if anybody's going to be showing our people the way, I know that you're going to take care of them. So I do love that. And you really do have a very mighty audience because in addition to your team being on this live chat, we've had a crazy amount of cloth diapering mamas that were like, don't worry about it. I'll show you, don't get nervous. It is like, I, like the twin community, we're a very close little underground society. I think twin parents who then cloth diaper are like on another level of another secret society. So it's really, really great. I believe that we have one more set to give away. Do we, or am I lying to everybody? Sure, let's I'm do lying. it. Let's am I it. lying? Did I just give away the house? Don't worry, let's do it. Okay, okay. So let's give away you... another set of little Joey's. And I think, I think... Oh, you wanna do the rumparoos? Oh, that would be awesome. Could we, do a, could, could we throw in a wet bag too? Because I'm so excited about it. I want other people to share my joy. Let's do a wet bag and a rumparoos. And then I want you to think of like some clever little term to have them type out in the comments for the winning. I think they should have to say twiddle bug. Twiddle bug. Okay. I think it should just be, I feel like it's an obvious choice of what it should be. Now that we learned the actual correct name of what a rumparoos or little Joey, it's not the little Joey's, they're not as pliable. The rumparoos definitely, the rumparoos, I keep saying rumparoos, I don't know. Rumparoo was a show, wasn't it? Wasn't there something? Rumper house or something romper. I don't remember, but something. So if you would like to win a set plus a wet bag of literally probably one of the coolest things I've ever gotten a swag that I'm keeping for good. You just have to say twiddle bug. You don't have to spell it correctly, guys. Don't get nervous. This isn't like the spelling bee. Although, did you see that eight kids won the spelling bee? Did you know that they had the national scripts spelling bee and eight kids won? I would be mad if my kid was one of the eight. I'd be like, no, you made it that far. Romper Room. Thank you, Julie. Once again, there was a show called Romper Room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like Romper House, Romper Room, Romper Room. We got it. Look at us. Look at us knowing things. It's amazing. We're also teaching these very young mothers the ways of the, the old school times. The Romper Room and Twiddle Bugs. <laughs> I don't even know. Although the other day, my kids got out of school and they go to school in the West Village. And so they're texting me and they're like, you're never going to believe who's outside of my school. A lot of celebrities live in that area, so I'm not really surprised. My daughter saw Alec Baldwin the other day and said he was very rude. And I'm like, not surprised. He punched that photographer that one time. I totally know it. But they saw Big Bird. They were filming a scene for Sesame Street. That's awesome. My kids lost their minds. Good. They literally, they were so, they're like, oh my God. Like they, they couldn't believe it. They could not believe it. And they both text me independently. They're like, I don't want to take a picture because it's not going to do him justice. And he's huge. And I'm like, guys, we have to have a talk about Big Bird when you get home. But he was fully dressed, which was nice. I believe he had a tie on. But okay. I love that my kids got to see Big Bird in the flesh. It was very, and in the feather, actually, is what it should. <laughs> Big Bird in the feather. So Twiddlebug is what you're saying. If you don't know what twiddle bugs are, you need to Google them after this live feed. And I, I really just want to thank you so much. Megan is our winner. So congrats to you, Megan. Our twiddle bug says, congratulations, Megan. That's what they say. <laughs> and so if we want to have, if we want to get a little bit more schooled on this, we've yeah. linked Kanga Care's uh, Facebook page into awesome. right up here or wherever, I don't know where it is in your view that you're watching us, but go over their page to say, hey, listen, you know, I'm a twin parent. I really want to start this. And as you could see, and scroll through all the messages too, guys, because there's so many parents right now that are currently cloth diapering that are like, listen, let me, let me show you, let me help you. So listen, thank you. I'm glad that you had so many kids and I'm so glad that your first child had a diaper rash problem because if she didn't, we would not be here. And as they say, everything happens for a reason. And this 
this is, it's really a big life changing thing. So thank you very, very much for creating this sincerely. I know I joke around a lot, but I'm really, I'm very, very humble and I'm crazily impressed. And I regret that I didn't do this. So now I want everybody to at least give it a try. Yeah. Yeah. And, and like you said earlier too, I think one thing that's a misconception too is like, we don't go around and like, if you don't cloth diaper, you're a horrible, terrible person. Like I get it. You yeah. know, if, you know, we just try to make it as approachable, easy and available as possible for, for families. Um, and really, you know, hope people give it a shot because there's just the benefits are just numerous. So it's really yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's really fantastic. And I love that you're really there for, for all of our people. So from the bottom of my heart and the bottom I speak on behalf of Twiniversity, thank you so, so much. And we look forward to doing this again for our cloth diapering part two, where we introduce uh, our audience into more unknown or lesser known Sesame Street characters. Right. That's yeah. it. So we'll have our full on puppet show that'll be fully uh, scripted with uh, how to potty train using cloth diapers. I think that's gonna be our next move. I'm into this idea. All right, you go back to doing what you do. I'm gonna do the same for everybody watching. Thank you so much for joining us. As I say all the time, it doesn't end here. The good news is, is that we got tons of great stuff over at Twiniversity for you guys, in addition to more cloth diapering information. But go to the authorities. While I'm not trying to get you guys off of our page, go really to the top. Just like you come to me for twin advice, Go to Chad and his family for cloth diapering advice. I know that they're going to take good care of you. And if they don't, you call me and then I'll text him and be like, dude, what's up, man? Just they shouldn't say Twiddlebug, but don't get mad at her. So that's how we're going to do it. So thank you so much to you and the rest of your team. Have the best day ever. And I will speak to you guys soon. Perfect. Thank you. All right, guys, viewers, thank you so much. And we'll see you later, alligators. Bye, guys. Bye.